Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Khalif Al Harun, the head of Innovation Interactive at Vodafone Qatar, and today we've got the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. We're going to be comparing the two devices to an iPhone 5S. Let's go take a look. All right, everyone, so this is the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for. We have the 5S, the iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus over here. And I thought it would be great to show you the phones side by side so that you can have a little bit of a comparison and also talk about the specs. And what I'm also going to do is talk about the differences between the 6 and the 6 Plus because it's more than just size because that might dis you know determine whether you want to buy the phone or not. So first of all, let's talk about some, some basic information, right? The size of the screen on the iPhone 5S is 4 inches at 326 pixels per inch or PPI. The iPhone 6 is 4.7 inches, also at 326 PPI. The 6 Plus is at 5.5 inches at 401 PPI. So not only is it a larger screen, but it also has a larger pixel density. And that's because it also has a higher resolution, a full HD resolution. With the 6, it's actually 750 pixels by 130. 1334 and that's what makes the difference so it's, it's more of like a let's say um, a 720p display was actually 750. In terms of the processor on the 5s we have a dual core 1.3 gigahertz a7 processor on the 6 and the 6 plus we have a dual core 1.4 gigahertz a8 processor so they're the same in both. In terms of storage options with the iPhone 5S, we've had the option of 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes. But that's changed now with the 6 and the 6 Plus. With the 6 and the 6 Plus, you can choose 16, 64, or 128. So that means that 64, which used to be the highest, is now the middle option for the 6 and the 6 Plus. In terms of overall support, of course, all of them have Touch ID, all of them have the great screen, all of them have, you know, um, a 8 megapixel camera and so on. We'll talk about the camera in a second. However, one of the key differences in the 6 and the 6 Plus is the fact that we have Apple Pay. So that means we've got NFC technology built in so that you can use your fingerprint and NFC to pay for stuff. Of course, at stores that accept Apple Pay. Let's talk about the sizes now. So yes, this is the smallest device, the 5S, and now the smallest of the newest generation is the 6, and then you've got the 6 Plus as the largest phone. But in terms of overall thickness and how thin the device is, with the 5S, it was at around 7.6 millimeters. The iPhone 6 was 6 point, is 6.9 millimeters, and the 6 Plus is 7.1 millimeters. So let me hold them all close up, side by side, so you can take a look at them. And you can see the difference in thickness. So what's changed with the cameras? Yes, they all have 8 megapixel cameras. However, you know, they've improved the lenses. They've improved the slow motion functionality, for example. With this, if you noticed, with the slow motion, you can take 120 frames per second. But now with the 6 and the 6 Plus, you can take 240 frames per second, which is pretty cool, especially if you love doing that slow motion stuff. With iOS 8, there are a couple of changes as well. So these are software changes. So yes, we also have time lapse, which is going to be available on the iPhone 5S too. So Apple's taking care of the people who have the older generation. In terms of color options, we've got gold, silver, and gray. Or as you say, champagne gold, silver, and space gray. They're the same color options on the 6 and the 6 Plus. However, there are some differences, and again, I'm going to talk about those in a second. In regards to the battery, this is something that's very important. With the 5S, it was up to 10 hours of talk time. With the 6, it's up to 14 hours of talk time. And with the 6 Plus, it's up to 24 hours of talk time. This is um, according to stats on websites. And of course, when it comes to real world results, that's something that will come back to you um, with feedback or an updated information later on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 6 Plus to the side for just a moment, and we're going to compare the two devices. And as you can see, um, with the 5S, we've had more of a blocky, let's say, square design with the chamfered edges. And now with the 6 and the 6 Plus, we have that curved screen that curves perfectly. I mean, it's like you can't, it's so flush, it's perfect um, with the actual curvature of the device itself. But what's changed? Well, you can see that the position of the front-facing camera has shifted from the top to the left. On the right-hand side, not only do we have the, um, the SIM port or the SIM tray, but now the power button has shifted from the top to the right. And the reason why they've done that is so that it's easier for you to turn the device on and off. So what else is different? If we look at the back of the device, you'll see that now instead of glass, we have this plastic 
um, let's say frame or border to the top and the reason why they have this is because it helps with um, reception and signal quality and so they needed to put this in here you'll also notice that in terms of the flash rather than having that pill shaped flash dual flash it looks like one flash but actually it still does have the two um, flashes the dual tone flash to help with color um, reproduction in terms of the camera the camera looks like a little bit bigger and actually it sticks out just a little bit in terms of the color, yes, they're both. these two devices are both space gray. However, I noticed that in terms of the reflection, whenever I shift it, you know, let's say with the light on it, this has more of a darker tone to it. Whereas with the iPhone 6, it actually has more of a lighter tone depending on the angle that I've shifted it to. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, that that is something that I've noticed. Also, what you'll notice with the Apple logo in the back, it was actually flush. So this was more of a um, polished logo that was polished onto the back. In this case, we have a logo that's been inserted similar to the iPad devices. On the other side, you'll notice that, yes, we still have the mute switch and we have the volume up and down. What they've done is they've changed it from a circular design to more of a longer design, which is easier to press, actually. From the bottom, we can see that we still have the lightning port. You see that we still have the headphone jack. We, instead of having the, the dotted microphone and speaker grills, you just have just a speaker grill and you have this one dot over here, which is the microphone. And on the very top, we have nothing compared to the 5S where you've got the power button. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to showcase, you know, the little bit around the phone. What I also wanted to showcase was the fact that the plastic that they use is no longer similar to the 5S. So with the space gray and the silver version, it's got a uh, it's got silver plastic or gray plastic, and with the gold version, it's got the white plastic. Whereas with the 5S, the space gray had black plastic, the silver had white plastic, and the gold had white plastic. So that's something that's a little bit different. What when it comes to the overall feeling of the hand, I have to say that this phone actually feels lighter than it shows on spec on paper. It actually feels really good. I like the overall proportions and the fact that it has the curved edges is fantastic. It feels nice to hold in the hand. So I thought that it was pretty nice and I really do like the way that the front of the phone looks. It looks looks pretty smooth, looks pretty uh, you know curved curved and the fact that I can now swipe from the left to the right um, without having my finger let's say stop at a sharp edge is a pretty nice comfort factor but what's the difference between the 6 and the 6 plus well there are quite a few differences first of all with the 6 plus yes we do have the larger size we do have a larger battery and the 6 plus also has optical image stabilization with the 6 we've got digital image stabilization but with this, we actually have optical image stabilization. What that is, it means that when you take a video or a photo, the lens itself stabilizes to give you the best photo. So that you know, you don't have any of that blurriness, you don't have any of that shakiness. That's why optical image stabilization is something that's pretty important. Don't worry if you've got such a big screen as well because they've also now have this double tap feature which enables you to shift the screen down. I'm gonna demonstrate that um, in another video where I talk about the 6 Plus exclusively. So which one would I choose between the 6 and the 6 Plus? Honestly, it really depends on what you're looking for. For me, I'm a vlogger. I like to take videos and I travel a lot. And so battery life and optical image stabilization is something that's very important to me. I also carry my tablet though, so I don't really need such a large screen. I kind of wish that I had optical image stabilization in the 6 as well as, let's say, the, the, the equal performance battery life. But I know it's a little bit difficult to cram all of that into the smaller um, uh, you know, size and proportions. If I was going to choose one though, I would say that I would choose the iPhone 6 mainly because it feels more comfortable in my hand to use and um, you know, the 6 Plus is a little bit too big for me. Of course, if you can go for both, go for both. <laughs> in terms of color, I actually usually choose the silver version. Um, and the reason why I chose you choose the silver is because I, I like the color silver and I love the, the mix of the, the silver and the white plastic with the 5S and the white screen because I don't like fingerprints to show as easily as they show on, a, let's say, a black screen. Uh, which, by the way, they both have the same oilophobic coating to prevent, you know, smudges and grease. But now, since it's on the gold version that you can get the white plastic, um, uh, little plastic bits on the side and the top and the bottom, I think I'm going to go for the gold one. So the gold iPhone 6 is what I prefer. Um, hopefully, I can have both and I can take some great 
videos with the 6 Plus as well. I'm a little bit greedy that way, but that was a quick comparison between the 5S, the 6, and the 6 Plus. I hope you like that comparison, and I hope it helps you to make a decision as to whether the 6 and 6 Plus is a phone for you. If you would like to buy the phone, you can always visit www.vodafone.qa or any of the Vodafone stores. If you have any questions, please don't forget to ask in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer as fast as possible. Ma'asirama!